Hi everyone, I'm Ellen from Classroom Unbound and today I'm going to show you how I teach my young children about saving and investing. For those of you who may be new to my channel, I am a homeschooling mom of a seven, six, and four year old. We are currently homeschooling in South Korea and in today's video I'm going to talk about how I teach my children about saving and investing because I think that this is such an important concept to know and understand and there's a car outside that's really annoying. Hopefully it stops honking the horn. <laughs> anyway, I feel that saving and investing is such an important concept to know and understand and so many adults don't know it so I was trying to figure out a way to ingrain the concepts in them at, any, at a young age and um, they can practice that for now so that when they are older they will have those down. So the main part of my teaching of saving and investing starts with the fact that you get money when you do work. So this is our chore chart, which I just made with an old folder and some um, baseball card holders, page protectors or card protectors. I think they come in like sheets of nine. I just cut, I just cut them out you can see it closely. I just cut them out and then use them as individual holders. I'm sure there's another way that you can do this, but this is the way that I found that would work for us. But um, I have created different chores for them to do and they each have the sticks. So let me take out these sticks really quickly. So these are the chores that I have decided for my children to do for an opportunity to make some extra money. So um, like toy, picking up toys, brushing your teeth, getting dressed, those are things that they're just expected to do. So I don't reward them for that. <clears throat> but we have making bed, um, washing, folding laundry, mopping. And I should say that these are, a lot of these are, let's help mom or dad do these things. And of course, as parents, we know that some of these are, um, more painful for the mom or dad to be involved in, but in the long run, it's teaching them skills. So I just grin and bear it for now. And eventually I know that they'll be able to do these things on their own. Um, but of course, making their bed, they can do that themselves. So we have wash, fold, laundry, mop, wash dishes, clean windows, sweep, uh, read a book and draw a picture or write um, a short summary of the book. Um, Clean the bathroom, of course, with I'm there with them. Taking out the trash, straighten our shoes. We don't have like a shoe closet. We just have an area in the front uh, right when you enter where the shoes are and that can get messy. So they have an opportunity to earn money for that. Setting the table and then a bonus of mom's choice. I just wanted to add that on there. Like if I need to organize a closet and they want to help or um, I am doing some other kind of project around the house and they have an opportunity to help with that. So they each have 10 sticks. So I wanted to keep this, like I said, as simple as possible for them to understand. Once they get those 10 sticks somehow placed up here, then they get $1. And it's really up to them at that point, or at this point, you know, how much work they do and how much money they make. So, I mean, they could do all 10 of these every single day and, you know, earn $10 in a week. That hasn't happened. Um, but, uh, you know, it's really up to them for how fast or how slow they can make, uh, um, earn money. On our refrigerator, I keep track of their accounts. So this is their savings account, basically, um, but in visual form so they can see it. And it's kind of like a checkbook register in a sense. So they can see uh, where their money is coming in or going out. So um, I started them, we started this at the end of July. So we've been doing this concept for almost a month and they've so far really enjoyed it. So I, I will continue to do this because um, I can already see the wheels ticking and I'll explain that further in just a second. So I gave them all $10. Um, they each had a few dollars here and there and I just wanted them to all just start at the same place. Um, more than zero, but we, I just wanted to start them evenly and I don't have any rhyme or real reason for that but I just wanted to start them all at the same place so the first week they um, Nile did chores Kai did some chores she chose not to do chores so she didn't get any money um, so I calculate their interest every Sunday and they have the 
I have given them their accounts have 1% interest per week. Yes, it's high and yes, they're not going to get that on a regular savings account, but I just wanted to give them that for simplicity's sake. I didn't want them to say your account has 0.015% interest or something like that that's a little bit confusing for them at this age. So I just said your account can earn 1% per week. So I told them whatever money you keep in your account can earn interest. You are more than welcome to spend whenever we go to the store. You know how much money you have and you can spend that or you can save it. So I've kept account. So here the first week um, we are earning interest. Um, they received some money. The boys received some money from Oma. And then uh, when they find money, I also add that on here. I rewarded them with a dollar for doing well on their first Taekwondo test and then we have interest so so far we can see that my oldest has been the saver um, my middle son he has bought a toy car he's found some money and then has purchased toys a couple of times my daughter the youngest of this she is not quite grasping the concept yet of interest earning in a savings account but she is understanding that when you do work you get money um, and my oldest was staring at this for a while, um, uh, a week or so ago, and he was looking and he was like, wait, even when I don't do work, my money is making money. And I said, yes, you're getting it. So he's really starting. He's like setting goals for himself. Like, I want to see how long it takes to get $30. And, and he's already starting to calculate the interest himself. So he's getting that concept. And my six-year-old, he gets it as well, but he's like, but I have money and I want things. And his goal is to not have zero. So they each have, you know, different goals and different understandings at their, at their various ages. But I think overall, they're starting to get the concept. And, and I like the fact that it's written down here on the board. Um, my older two can read it and my youngest, we just tell her how much money she has. And it's really simple when we go to the store and they want something and oh, mom, can I have this? Can I have this? And I just ask them, do you have enough money for it? And they'll say yes or no. And then that's my answer. Yes or no. Uh, it's super simple. We have no breakdowns at the store for anything because you either have the money or you don't. And then you make a choice whether you want to buy something or not um, if you do have the money. So this is our system of chores and learning about saving and investing. If you have any comments or questions, let me know down in the uh, comment section below. Please like if you enjoyed this video and subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.